Hey, what's going on, y'all? Jay from JS Films. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can animate the new MetaHumans using pre-recorded video. First things first, you need to download the new MetaHuman Animator Depth Processing plugin because you probably don't have this. I'll just copy and paste this here. MetaHuman Animator Depth Processing plugin. Click on this. Add to your library. Now, after that, just go to your Epic Games launcher and make sure that it's in here. Install an engine, already have it, so we're good to go. Additionally, whenever you're in the editor, all right, so I'll enable this and I'll restart. Next, we'll go to Tools, Capture Manager, and go to Live Link Hub, because like I've mentioned before, over and over again, the Capture Manager is going to be moved to the hub. Once there, you're going to go to the Capture Manager, Add Device, Mono Video, Ingest, and in here, we're going to select my Downloads folder because that's where my video is. We're going to be using this called Take On Me. It looks kind of screwed up, but it's okay. Then I'll click on Add to Queue, right? And then I'll say Start. All right, once you see that check mark, close that, close this, hold Control Spacebar to get your uh, layout. Go to Capture Manager and make sure that we have it here. Double click. Okay, it's in here, 60 FPS, that's good. And in here, I'm just gonna create a new folder called pre-recorded, and we'll go right-click, MetaHuman, and we're gonna go straight to performance, pre-record, perf, press enter, maximize this. And in the input type, it's not a depth footage, it's just a monocular footage. Footage capture data, we're gonna say take on me, and you're gonna see my face now there, which is good. And in the visualization mesh, I'm just gonna use my actual MetaHuman, this girl right here. So I'll go back to my MetaHuman perf and go to face v5, girl five face mesh right there. Yes, that's okay. And then in the head movement, it's totally up to you. We'll just say transform track. I uh, usually when I'm using body mocap, I disable that. So we'll just leave it as default. And in here, enable neutral pose calibration. I'll say check, and basically just try to look for a neutral pose. That's pretty neutral, so I'll go to 64 right here. This is the calibration frame. So you can see 64 frame right here. And all the other options, I'm just gonna leave by default. All right, so we're gonna put some smoothing in there. I'll compare it maybe later to see what the difference is for default and heavy. But for now, I'll just press on process. Now, what's crazy about this is this is actually live. Like, I'm not pausing this video. This is legit converting my dialogue to facial animation live. Like, I'm not going to pause. Like, auto save, no. You know, this is it. It's going to process it as fast as it can. It looks like it's going like two times speed. And once that's done, you just go to export animation here and save it. And then for the target skeletal mesh, again, we're just going to choose the same girl here, the girl V5 face mesh, and then create. All right. Once that's done, I'll press save right here, close it out, create a new level sequence, because now I want to see this in editor here. Press G, add the chick. All right. And we'll delete the body, I'll direct the control rig. And it should be AS pre-recorded. I'm going to try to add the audio track. And we'll just put that in this tick right here. And we're running this in cinematic settings. And in here, I'll just go turn on the FPS so you can kind of see it. Okay. And let's press play. Hey, what's going on? Y'all, Jay from JS Films. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can animate Unreal Engine 5.6 MetaHumans using pre-recorded video. Now, right now, I just have my phone. I'm just holding it, and I'm just recording a video using the phone app. I'm not using LiveLink Face or MetaHuman Animator whatsoever on the phone itself, so any videos should work. I am shooting this at 1080p at 60 frames per second so that we can get more frames per second and hopefully reduce blurriness. And yeah, I'm just gonna exaggerate some facial animation movements. Now, I'm not sure what this is gonna look like. So that said, let's go ahead and take a look. All right, so first things first, this is much better than my, cause I processed this same exact video before the plugin came out. 
and it did not look like this. So my guess is, my theory is that we are going to need that new plugin to do this here. Because yeah, this is like night and day difference. And, and then what's kind of tricky is it doesn't necessarily say in the description that, hey, you do need this for the new video to facial animation. It just says Live Link Face app, performance capture, you know, all that stuff. Talking about identity performances. But testing it before and after, I absolutely think we need this plugin to process video to facial animation, pre-recorded uh, video to facial animation. This is insane, people. This is absolutely bananas. So what this means is that you can basically just have a video of somebody talking and have facial animation coming out of it, even without depth uh, processing. Now, that means you don't need true depth cameras to make metahuman facial animation. With that said, if you learned something new today, Make sure to like and comment so I can kind of get back on top of the SEO things. A lot of people are trying to fight me for it. But, you know, we're going to do what we're going to do.